Hey everybody, Kyle here with Spicer Designs. Welcome back to the channel. All right, today I got a quick DIY video for you. You can see behind me, got the aerator running in the pond. I installed that a couple of months ago. And if you wanna see that whole installation video, I'll have a link for that video down in the description. But today, we're not talking about the diffuser itself. We're talking about the aerator enclosure. Right here, this is the finished product. This was a way cheaper route to go than buying a pre-made aerator enclosure. They are pretty pricey. So let's head into the shop and I'll show you all the parts and how I assembled this thing. All right, here's what we got. I ordered all this crap off of Amazon. This is my own little DIY kit. Now there's a ton of different ways that you can do this and there are pre-made pond aerator cabinets that you can get. I will leave a link for a pre-made one down in the description along with all these other parts that I have here on the table. Now the pre-made enclosure, the one that I'm gonna link in the description is just under $300. They are expensive. All the material that I have right here is right around $100. So big difference, but you'll have to do a little bit of work to get it put together. So here's what we got. We've got this little storage container made out of plastic. I think it was like 45 bucks. It all snapped together really easy. I don't need to show you how to do this. A monkey could do it. And you can open it from the top and get access to the aerator, which is really nice. But what we need on this is some ventilation. So I've got a couple of these six inch vents and the covers I have sitting over there because I just painted them to kind of match this enclosure a little bit better. But they are a six inch vent with a circle around them and they have a screen that comes in them to keep insects out of there. I'm sure insects are still gonna get in it, but this will help with the bigger stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark this thing out. We're gonna cut a hole in it with the jigsaw and we'll pop these things in on each end. On the back of this one, I actually have like a computer fan basically. I went ahead and kind of cut and mounted that into the circular part of this vent. So basically what this will do is it's gonna force airflow through this enclosure to keep that aerator pump cool. Now the way I'm gonna set it up is I'm not gonna have this fan running all the time. It's only going to run when the aerator is running. So as soon as that aerator gets power, the fan gets power and you have air circulation. So if you run your aerator 24 seven, this is gonna run 24 seven. I personally am going to try to run mine 12 hours a day. So this will run 12 hours a day. I think I explained that pretty well. So along with that, I got this little two way splitter. One's gonna go to the aerator pump. The other one will go to the cooling fan. The only other thing I purchased was this Govi smart thermometer. Basically, I'm gonna mount this thing inside the enclosure with some Velcro or some adhesive, and this gives me a Bluetooth signal of what the temperature is inside this box. You download an app, and I'm gonna set some alarms. That way, if it gets too hot, it will alarm me and let me know. That way, I can come over and shut the pump down, open the lid, do whatever I gotta do, because I don't want this thing to catch on fire. Now, the aerator does have a high temp shutoff, so if the aerator gets above a certain temperature, it will shut off on its own. So that's all I've got as far as material. Let's go ahead and get this thing assembled. We can get it out on site, get the aerator in it, and see if it does any better.
no good way to do this. My freaking shadow looks like crap, but oh well. All right, so here's the finished product. You can see I actually installed a couple of latches because the top of this is kind of light and you know, if wind catches it or something. So the latches worked out pretty nice. You can see I got my vent on this side. I've got an extension cord coming in temporarily. And then I've got the vent on the other side with the computer fan in there, keeping good airflow, keeping that aerator cool. All right, you can see here that little Govee Bluetooth thermostat. I just have it hanging here. It's good enough. And there is the aerator. I've got a paver brick down in there just to help keep some weight in this thing because I don't have it mounted to this little pad. All the landscaping in this area is temporary, so this is very likely going to get redone as well. But I've been using this setup for about three months now, and it has been working out great. The temperature stays pretty consistent. It doesn't get any more than about 105 to 107 degrees inside that enclosure so three months of testing it's held up pretty damn good and it's right around a hundred dollars in material you really can't go wrong ah damn it all right if you found this video helpful maybe you didn't either way i really don't care but if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel yeah i don't know if this is ready to sit on Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. <sighs> Deep tickler. I hate that fuzzball on the stupid mic. Better than wind noise, I guess. All right, more pond crap. Here we go. We'll see you in the next one.